All right, welcome back to the iOS Dev Channel, Max Codes. In this video, we are going to continue building out our linked list data structure in the Swift programming language. Again, that's a linked list in Swift. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't actually watched the few previous videos on this, I do recommend you go to the series link that's in the description and start from the beginning, or you can get the code that's also linked in the description and kind of start from this video if you want. Okay, now also make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna be uploading more videos on linked list and algorithms and data structures in general. So that's it for the intro. Let's go ahead and get started where in this video, we are going to learn how to print out our list and actually display the elements in our list because we are able to count and append nodes like we did in the last couple videos, but we can't really see what's in our list, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna drag this to be the size of the screen so you can see it, and we need to introduce a new variable, okay? We don't need a function because we don't have any uh, parameters that we need to pass into the linked list. We pretty much only need to print what's in it, right? So this is gonna involve kind of iterating over our list like we've done, and printing it out to the user, okay? So how do we do this? Well, we can simply just say public var, and then we'll say print, and then we'll say string. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a little array kind of style string here, okay? So it's gonna be a string array. So not actually an array, but what we're gonna do is print it out as if it were an array. So what we're gonna do is put in a bracket like that, and then what we're gonna do is return, and we'll say, string array plus, and then we're gonna end it off, okay? So if we go down to our, the bottom here, let's see, string array plus that. Now if we go down to the bottom here and we say list.print and we hit play, we're gonna see those little brackets there on the right, okay? So let's give it a moment and you'll see we have those brackets. But how do we get the data actually in there? Okay, think about that for a second. Basically, we want to iterate over it. And there's a couple ways we could do this. We could do it like this, or we could even do it a different way with a different style while loop. Let's go ahead and mess around with this code. And then what we'll do is modify it to be a different way if this doesn't really work for us, okay? So what we're gonna do is get rid of that, that count. And then what we're gonna do is say var node is equal to and we'll, we'll guard unwrap it. So we'll say guard var node is equal to head else return. And we'll just put the brackets like that, okay? Because it's empty if it, uh, if it doesn't have a head, okay? We could also just return the string array and add that just so it's kind of more conformant to what we're writing out here. But either way, it's gonna return that all of the same, right? Because string array hasn't been modified if it's hit returns here, there's no code in between that. So that works too, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna say, while next is equal to node.next, which I've explained in previous videos, so we shouldn't really need to go over that. Then we're just gonna say string array plus equals, and we'll just put in string interpolation, and we'll say node.value, okay? So we're basically just getting the value out of the node and then we are moving on to the next node like we've done before, okay? So let's go ahead and try this out now. We should have two items in our list right here. Let's go ahead and hit play here and see what we're given. Okay, it says maxcodes.io. Where's that last value though? Let's go ahead and look at our code and make sure that everything's working. Okay, so the reason it doesn't kind of print all the items here is probably because we didn't do it after here, right? If we take this, and we put it here, what I predict will happen is it will only give us ASDF. Let's go ahead and try that out. Yeah, because what's happening is we're replacing node with node.value. So what we really need to do is leave that there, but then we need to gain the first value by putting this right here, okay, from the head. Because if we're replacing it, it's not gonna get it. But then if we have this above it, it's not gonna get the last value because it's gonna break. So what we could do is we could either put this right here and right here, or we could put this right here and this 
right here. Kind of think about that logic. I think I explained it well enough, but it's gonna take some thinking on your part to really understand kind of why that is. Okay, well, let's go ahead and compile this and see if it works. And if it doesn't, we'll swap it back to that old code and it looks like it works, okay? But the problem is it kind of just added the strings together, right? We wanna put a comma so it looks kind of like an array. So let's go ahead and try that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say after each value that's added here, let's put a comma, okay? So a comma right there. And one more thing is you might be wondering why we're not just using an actual array. And the reason we're not is because that would kind of defeat the whole entire purpose of what we're doing here. Is, and what we're doing is we're kind of recreating a linked list, which is similar to an array with very basic code. And the only, and we would never really do this in a project, but what I'm saying is if you were writing a linked list in a programming language, if you were actually writing the implementation, you wouldn't be using an array. You wouldn't have access to an array that would just kind of defeat the whole entire purpose. Okay, let's go ahead and hit play here and it should work. And you'll see we have maxcodes.io and ASDF. Now, it might be a good idea to add a little space after this comma just to make it look a little better. So I'm gonna add a space after that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play here and we have our list. Perfect. So that's it for this video. We now know how to print out the contents of our list. Let's go ahead and add another item and try it again. So I'm gonna say another one. And then I'm gonna say list.print and we should see another one right there. Okay, perfect. So that's it for this video. Again, in the next video, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and learn about fetching nodes at a given index. Okay, so we wanna say something like list dot or list at two and get out another one or list at one and get ASDF or list at zero and get maxcodes.io. Okay, so we wanna learn how to get values out of our array at a specific index. And we're gonna learn all about how to do that in the very next video. So I'll see you in just a second.